Hello guys, welcome once again. In the video number 25, uh, which is this uh, video, C Sharp tutorial 25, I have shown you how to open the text file in the rich text box or text box using C Sharp. So, a lot of you guys have been asking me it's okay that yeah I can open some text file in this rich text box but what if I want to uh, make some edits and then I want to save that text file so in this video I will show you how to save this text file with the help of your save file dialog using C sharp application so this opening of file I have shown you in the video number 25 if you don't know in case so now I will add a button and this button I will use to save files okay so just I will name my file as save file the uh, text of the button is save file okay and I will just double click this button and in here I will write the code for saving the file but if you are uh, watching this video series for first time for saving file we need to import this using namespace so write using system.io if you have seen the, the video number 25 you have already added this system.io in your code so no need to worry so once again in this save file button click function we will add the code so in here write sorry this code for saving the file so first of all declare the save file dialog this dialog will open a dialog box in which you can write the name of your file and you can save it so write save file dialog and give it a variable name is equal to new save file dialog bracket and bracket closed and then provide a if condition in this if condition pass this save file dial dialog argument or variable dot show dialog and bracket and bracket close is equal to dialog result dot ok ok and then in that if condition write using and in the bracket write stream and give it a variable name s is equal to file dot open and in the bracket once again the file dialog variable name dot file name so is it will ask for the file name comma file mode dot create new okay so write this and in the next line once again write using and in the bracket write stream writer and give it a variable name in my case sw is equal to new stream writer and in the bracket just pass this stream variable which is s in my case and in the using brackets write this stream writer variable dot write and in the bracket pass the text from the rich text box so this is my rich text box and I will copy the name of my rich text box which is rich text box 1 and I will once again go to the code and just play paste it here okay so this code will save whatever content or whatever write writing or whatever paragraphs are there in the rich text box okay so just 
write this code if you want you can pause and write and copy the code and now we will run our program so run and I will just open the file which is a text file and now for example I want to add something in this text file some some text random text and now I want to save this file once again so I will click my save file button and it will open a save file dialog and I will name my file here so edited file dot txt txt is a text extension and you can choose the folder from here and just save it and it will save your file on your desktop because I have chosen the desktop so let's see if it's there or not yes my file is here on the desktop and when I see at the bottom you can see whatever I have entered the text it is saved in the text file okay and once again if you want you can just open this edited text file also this one and you will see the same text here so in this way you can use this save file dialog to save text file using your c-sharp application i hope you have learned something new this time please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now